wrestling fans, East Coast Professional Wrestling. This is Adrenaline TV. Cheyenne Ortiz and I am Mr. Lee Gino Fusso. And this week we're going to see some great action. As always, we're going to start off. we got Connor Riley here, King Tristan Law. Cheyenne, what's the main event? You've got the main event. It's going to be Bulldog Pittman taking on another disciple of Doug DeVito. It's Timothy Theory. It's singles action. It's your main event. Gino, what say you? Let's go to the action. Jonathan Bang here, Bounty Hunter. I'm at Ridgefield Park, New Jersey, and guess who's on the bounty list tonight? His name is The Irish Man, Connor O'Reilly. Let me tell you something about this guy. I've seen all his matches. He's strong, he's smart, and he's fast. But guess what? You're wanted, dead or alive. One year ago, one year ago, on this episode, I was facing Corey Dillinger for the TV title. Somehow, COVID hit. I faced Corey, I faced him three times. He's never beat me. And then COVID hit, and now I'm on the bottom of the list. I'm opening up matches. I am a main eventer, and I am gonna get that TV title. <laughs> Center of the ring. 
Now he's obviously going to use his experience and take advantage of the inexperience of Jonathan Bain. Um, his youthful exuberance and uh, kind of keep him off balance. Wow. And obviously power advantage. Just tipping over like a Lego. Right back to that arm. Well, I hope uh, Jonathan Bain's strategy wasn't power. No. Because he's not going to be able to pick up Conor Rowley in general, let alone with a bad arm. Right. Fans, happy to have you here this week as we kick things off with Adrenaline TV. Another great week of action. We're going to see some tremendous stars here. Another arm drag. Great drop kick right in the sternum. Connor's got Bain up. Oh no, look at this! Way slot! Hey, he just drove him into there. Very interesting tactic there. He realized he couldn't pick up Connor. So what do you do? Use his own momentum, shift him into that corner. That's genius. You know, you uh, you have to use what you have at your disposal. That was a great use of the ring as his environmental weapon. He's taking his time. You don't usually see with the, a lot of youngsters. Yeah, but look at this again, that environmental use of the ring as his weapon, that's that's pretty smart. Maybe he's done some scouting, we don't know. There could be an injury to Connor Riley's leg and, and Jonathan Bain uh, knew about it, maybe heard about it in a previous match or at a sparring session uh, and is taking advantage of that leg. Uh, of Connor, but he just put it. Connor does have that other leg that is obviously very powerful and seems to be working okay. But he's relentless, Jonathan. Yeah, he's, he's pretty. He's pretty headset on that on that left leg. Yes. He is an angry young man. <laughs> he he's a bit pubescent. He's he's mad at everything. Yeah. And I don't know why. He's such a young guy. And why? Why could you be so mad? And don't bounty hunters make money? I don't know, maybe he's just starting off. Yeah. Come on. Oh, he's a buckle as Riley staggers out of the corner. Wait, wait, what? I thought he was going to use that bottle as a weapon and said he's, he's taking a, uh, he's taking a, a, a break here. Is that some, like, workout, pre-workout? I think so. Some, some monster, maybe? I'm not sure. Close line. There's another takedown by Riley as he's hopping along, but he's in control. And now follows it up by attacking, by attacking Bane's leg. Yeah, but he still has problem with his own leg. Yeah. Ah, see, oh, yeah. he, he, he can't put weight on. And that takes away the power game. That's right. I'll go for a suplex. Oh, small package. And he got him. Yes. It was a three count. Wow. The winner of the match, Connor Riley. And, uh, you know, Jonathan Bain may have a right to be upset. That could have been a quick count. That's right. And now he's, he's going back to the super He's giving it to the referee. Tristan Law, the king, the prince, I don't know what you call yourself now, but you're big, you're tough, and you're strong, but you don't know what the wild card Leo Alvaro has for you tonight. And it's uh, King Tristan Law. Mr. Law is accompanied by his manager, Douglas Zemino. Again. For the second week in a row, I have to look at Zemino. Wow. Uh, 
about these fans obviously he's letting DeVito win a no about it. Mr. DeVito, that he's being announced as the manager of the year. Who does this 20? Get it right! 2020 manager of the year. Is that, is that official now? No, it's not official. It's, uh, unfortunately, uh, due to uh, everything that went on last year, there was no voting for any of the categories, and DeVito just took it upon himself. Ah, self Lucky Leo. We'll see how lucky he is tonight. He's very lucky. He looks like a rabbit's foot. away a lot of size to King Tristan Law. The King must be eating pretty good with the beating. I'm not going to repeat what King Tristan Law just, just said to look at you. That's just rude. Another youngster, you know, uh, making his uh, way in the world and, you know, you got to take whatever whatever matches are available. What's what's his, uh, his strengths in training? I mean, He's a, he's a very uh, intelligent competitor. I mean, he studies the professionals. He knows the history of it. He knows the moves of it. But, unfortunately, when you have a bigger, more experienced opponent in there, that doesn't really help. Wow! Wow! That is lucky! He's hit. He was able to evade King Tristan twice. And I think Lucky was surprised. That... Well, he did it with, with Tristan's own momentum. Maybe that's why they call him Lucky Leo. I don't know. Rod DeVito trying to get into with the fans on the outside. Oh, oh and Tristan's going to think about that. Hey, DeVito, wouldn't it be different if one of you guys got a win? Lucky Leo. Lucky Leo, he better get a little bronzer on that. He's right behind you. He's gay. Yeah, well, it's obviously not over between him and Andrew Anderson. And uh, right now, though, King King Tristan Law taking advantage of the youngster Lucky Leo, even though Lucky Leo did have some some moves at the beginning. Either that or DeVito preferred McDonald's. I don't know. King Tristan is control of Lucky Leo. Leo just flattens to the canvas. You know, when you're a newcomer to the professional wrestling business, you, you take whatever matches are available. That's because right. you're trying to make a name for yourself. You're trying to get experience. And unfortunately, there's a lot of uh, overmatching going on. Uh, this is one of those things where this youngster is overmatched with power and size and experience. But when you lose the draw, at the end of this, he'll gain some experience from it. Great kick out bridge there by Lucky Leo. One thing too is, you know, when you're just starting out in the wrestling business, every win is a good win. Of course. When you're in the wrestling business at the beginning, every win is a good win. Every match. Every, every match matters. You learn from And you hope that you move on and whatever you take from that, you bring to the next match. And hopefully uh, that helps you. Yeah. Oh, man. Actually, Tristan using his weight advantage, which is smart. Stretching out as far as he can to completely execute his manhandling his jokes to execute as much of his power as he can. And this is the pace that King Tristan wants to go at. Slow and steady. I can see him, I can see him out there moving around pretty good. You, know, you taught him that, huh? The rizzle. He is, definitely has control of this youngster, uh, but how would you think he would fare with maybe an Andrew Anderson? How would you fare with Andrew Anderson? Wow. You're like, Frank, it's like lunch. Huh. Sunset flip! He's wow. got him! Got him. He's got him. Get him. Get him. What a win that would have been! Oh my god, yeah, no, we, it's uh, 
We're supposed to stay in partial. It's, it's, it's kind of hard not to root for the underdog in this one. I'm rooting for this kid because DeVito annoys me. And he annoys everybody. Get used to it. That's why DeVito is uh, very successful. That's true. Because he can get under the skin of, the, of not only the fans and the commentators, but the wrestlers in the ring. And right now, it's pretty much Tristan Law is just taking control of this. A uh, few moves that Leo was lucky to get in. Uh, I'll forget it. Oh, he's having fun out there. Great kick out. I'll tell you what. Lucky Leo's a tough kid. And Tristan again. No, that's a choke. I thought it'd be another cover. It's a choke. You know, there, there's the thing. He's obviously got the size advantage. He's got the experience. Why do you have to resort to stuff? There's no reason. There's no rhyme or reason to do it. Fans after this matchup, I'm sure the next matchup will be much more competitive. Absolutely. And I know that uh, you've been looking forward to this matchup. Really? Did I see his papers? His what? His papers. His referee papers. I want to see his papers. What do you mean? What do you mean? What's the purpose of the papers? Uh, don't let him get to you. As, as Mr. DeVito comes and joins us for another sidebar, we're back to singles competition. Both men on a vertical base now, Gino. Lucky Leo's got a little bit of an opening here. He's got to take advantage. This may be all he gets. Oh, barely staggered him with that clothesline attempt. Not enough weight behind it. He's got to do more of a... Uh, uh, use more agility and speed. On the second row. Oh, that one got him. That one cover, got him. Cover, go. yeah, don't, uh, don't waste so much time, kid. Yes. <laughs> He's getting a little fired up. Wasting way too much time. That's that inexperience that you yes, mentioned earlier. It is. Uh oh, oh, oh. Go for maybe a flip. Again, inexperience here. Oh, counter. Sling blade. Got him down wow. again. What a win this would have been. That's the third or fourth time that Lucky Leo's been able to knock down King Tristan. That's going to use that speed. Oh, the roll, the roll, the roll. Up. Only a two. Oh, just headbutted him. Oh my god, that may have knocked that youngster out. One, two, three. That was it. Ladies and gentlemen, well, your winner, Kristen Law. Lucky Leo wasn't so lucky, but the kid was in there and he gave it everything he had. He a lot of us. Wrestling fans about to make his way to the ring area, led by the self-proclaimed manager of the year, Douglas DeVito. Again. From Halifax, Nova Scotia, Canada, he weighs in yeah, a lot of air 235 time. pounds. He is Canada's greatest athlete, 2.0, Timothy Theory. I hope you're not paying royalties, because if that's the case, DeVito's running into the max. Come on! The Beatles just insulted my riding entrance! Don't let him get to you, Cheyenne! Wow. Timothy Theory allowing the referee to check him. As Doug DeVito has a Singapore cane. What's the meaning of this? From Steel City, he weighs in at 175 pounds, Bulldog Pittman! Pittman was 2019 Rookie of the Year. That's right. Dog pound here. That's right. They are here.
here. Wow, DeVito better watch. Oh, God, that yeah. would be great if he got a hold of DeVito. Oh, my God, I think everybody in the arena would enjoy that, including us. You don't want to turn your back on theory. Why does he have that kendo stick? Why is he allowed to have that kendo stick? That's not legal. DeVito on the outside. Oh yeah, a real fast Eddie with that. Could, could DeVito have two wins in a row tonight? And now DeVito playing, doing timekeeper as well. Voluntarily. take on a small claims court for assaulting all my, my writing instruments. Great, great uh, matchup here this week in the main event. Timothy Fury, self-proclaimed ca Canada's greatest athlete against 2.0. Yeah, Bulldog Pittman. Uh, this should be a fantastic matchup. Theory with a clean break. Oh, wow, it's not too soon. It. And Pittman saw it coming. He now has got that wrist lock real tightly there. We want to have a shout out to David Rogers from uh, Keyport, New Jersey. His favorite wrestler is actually in the ring, and that is Timothy Theory. Look at that. Uh, you know, he says he is definitely his favorite athlete from Canada. We just said that. So that's what I was saying. Yeah. Maybe you get the maybe you get you get the wax out of your old ears. You can hear what I have to say. Yeah. Is that a call? Is that a fact? What'd you call him? How, how did you become so astute at hockey? Italian Canadian. That's not a thing. There's no Canadian meatballs. Uh, maybe you should pay more attention to your guy in the ring. And maybe you shouldn't be looking over your shoulder for Andrew Anderson. What are you, what are you writing a book, DeVito? You know there's a match happening. Let's, let's pay attention to what we got going on here. Uh, look at uh, DeVito's always trying to create issues out here. I bought this pen of papyrus. You cannot allow him to get under your skin. And he does it to all of us. Back to the action fans. Yeah, we apologize that, you know, Doug DeVito just creates chaos wherever he goes. As Timothy Theory hits a great shoulder block. And we have two great athletes in there. We don't want to take away from this. Look at that. Look at the agility. And beautiful hip toss. The Bulldog. Taking Theory right to the pound. He's got him off balance. And Theory trying to catch a breather in the corner, but... Put Pittman's got, ah, oh, wasted too much time. Derry now, great front face lock, gonna, gonna take it over, yes. No, face plants it. And this is where Theory wastes so much time. You know, he needs to have more direction. This is where DeVito should step in. He's got a great athlete in there. He needs, this gentleman should be wrestling for titles. Well, while I agree with you, that's where DeVito did step in. DeVito's arrogance rubs off on his clients. Right. That's what that is, that affirmation, I'm going to win, I'm going to win, until the surprise comes. Unfortunately, you're correct. That's exactly what's going on. Stay, you know, he needs to stay more focused. Him is hurt. That is in trouble. Theory is mocking Bulldog Pittman. Fans, we're going to stay with this action. And this is your main event. Next week, the title is on the line. The heavyweight champion will be here. That's right. Kenny Bengal. And guess what? They'll be taking on another of DeVito's clients. That's right. Another Samson Khan. DeVito disciple. Can you Samson imagine Khan. if Samson Khan was able to win that title, how DeVito's arrogance would be flowing? And I've just received word, Gino, you can confirm this. Captain Emmett Payne is in action next week. Yes, he is. We have a great card as always. 
But that heavyweight title next week, wow, DeVito, if he could, that would be a great way for him to start off 2021. Uh oh, oh, oh there he is. Non focus of Timothy Pierce. Here he misses the Senton. Pittman out calling on to his dog pound to cheer him on. Oh, great oh. neck breaker. Spine buster. Dog pounds and barking. They're loud. They feel him. And wow. wow, nice splash. There's a bulldog by the bulldog. Is that enough? Caught him flush. Uh -oh. Can he shoot the veto? What's the veto doing? What's the veto doing? One. To Why other... is he up there? He's on the apron ramp. Get him down. Oh, hey, hey, he's, hey! He's got the kendo stick. The ref's got no idea. He better turn around and see this. Oh! They got the bulldog saw it coming. Or did he? No way. Oh! Watch it, that's just a DQ! Clear as day! That shit has to be important! That's a... <laughs> nah, why would he do that? That's a disqualification! Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the match is the result of a disqualification. Pitbull Pitbull! They don't even care! I, I don't think so! They're smiling! He just lost the match! And if they're smiling, that's nothing but bad news! Oh! Uh, DeVito, you better get your man out of here. He's going to be fine and suspended, no doubt about it. We're going to need some assistance here. This is an assault. This is an unwarranted assault. Theory's a criminal. DeVito's a criminal. And the fans showing their displeasure at what just happened here. You know, your man, he that just is lost. illegal. He, he just lost. You know that. You better take oh, control on. of him. Somebody ring the He's bell. gonna lose his wrestling it's license. It's over. It's over, damn it. Uh oh, what's he doing? He's choking him again. Oh my god. He's got he's got something on his neck. He's got a chain around his He's choking him with the chain. This is a is there no one to help He's him? Him. This This is gone. This has gone bell, way beyond wrestling. Can somebody come this has gone back? way beyond wrestling. This has gone way beyond wrestling. Someone's favorite wrestler. Ah, uh, that's a shame. Don't raise his arm. Despicable. We're gonna need some medical attention. Wow. Great action, and we hate to end it like that. Hopefully, we'll, next week we can have an update on uh, Bulldog Pittman wrestling fans. Gino Caruso. Cheyenne Ortiz saying so long from the Garden State.